This sermon was downloaded from www.spiritnerds.org. We equip Christians with thousands of strategic spiritual materials daily. Join millions of Christians around the world who have come to Spirit Nerds to learn about God and His Word today. Let me show us how to fight spiritual wars. First Peter chapter 5, verse 8, 8 to 10. He said, be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. The first thing that Paul speaks about here is what we call persistence resistance in the faith. So the first way of spiritual warfare is persistence or persistent resistance in the faith. The reason why it needs to be persistent is because Satan will not back out at your first charge. He will never back out just because you shouted. He will back out when he sees that you are interested in this battle in such a way that you are not willing to back out. So he will now say, all right, let's postpone this. So you keep persisting in faith until you notice Luke chapter 4 verse 13. Luke chapter 4 verse 13 is what we suggest to you that the battle has ended temporarily. And when the devil had ended all his temptations, he departed from him for what? A season. So until the devil departs, you do not end your persistent resistance in the faith. After the first festival of glory that we had, Many people in Africa watched that crusade. And I got an invitation to Uganda. I sent Shala, Pore, and Jangfa to go for that mission. When they went for that mission, they did very well. Another door of ministry opened to them, not to me now, but to them, to go to Rwanda the next year went to Rwanda when they got to Rwanda Upore saw a spirit an evil spirit in the realm and he, he resisted and he went to sleep in the night the spirit came and choked him and he couldn't say Jesus now when you watch wrestling <laughs> stay with don't laugh don't laugh during a wrestling fight, have you ever seen that an opponent won a fight just because he gave one blow? So what makes you think that after that one blow, the fight has ended, so you went to sleep? The devil is more active when men are less active. That's why the devil chose the night. That's the most vulnerable period for men, but the most active period for spirits. If you want to be a warrior, then you will pay the price to be awake when men sleep. Huh? That's when spirits are active. From 12 to 2, they are most active. Most witchcraft meetings that are held are held from 12 to 2 because spirits are active. Any decision you make, you can release it to demons through incantation. They will take it and prosecute it. And you can come by 5 a.m., 6 a.m. when day, the day is breaking and you will see that what the demons transmitted actually got home. So if you are under attack, expect a call from the person fighting you 6 a.m. So when you give the spirit a blow, resist, boom! They gave blow and then went to sleep. When the spirit, the spirit didn't fight them instantly. When he is most active, he now came, you know in wrestling there's something they call hammer lock, hammer lock, that they will put your head here and lock it up. That was what they did to Ooh, and that's why I was it's, it's like this. Come on. The person that was bold that struck a chord now in the afternoon in the night could not stay because he was under. He didn't know, he didn't understand that in spiritual warfare you resist steadfast in the faith. So when you give that blow in the afternoon, in the night, put on your boxers and, and wait for the spirit because the spirit will come. 
Ooh. The spirits will come. Most of you will do che, 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 in the daytime and go and no real warriors know that that che, 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 che is problem. In the night, that's when you will see a, new, a song will start. Warriors, there, there, there are songs you need to see if you want to war very well. There are selected songs for warfare, like the one I sang now. Is he charges God? We went for a meeting in Ghana. When we're done with the meeting, our friends came together. They had elaborate plans on how we will spend time and relax. And I found out that uh, Ghana has a wonderful resort. You know, you just want to a beach. You know, you want to just relax. Ghana is wonderful. So we traveled, went deep, and then in the heart of a village, there were very cozy places and a beach. I took the children, the children forgot us and began to swim. Philip B took a bike on, on the river. I was praying for him. <laughs> Everyone was active. But you know what? By one o'clock, that fire came here. Before I began to decree those things, I decreed the fire. It came. Anytime that fire comes, it means God has given me authority to speak something. So I told God, I said, there's no war here. Everybody is running around, you know. The place is not for war. <laughs> we have finished the fight. The fire. From one o'clock, I went to sleep. I woke up. By four, the fire had intensified. By six, it had intensified. So I now say, okay, okay, since you want to kill something, I'm walking on the beach. If you see the thing, show me. The moment I said that, I saw standing on the water a goddess looking at me. So my, my disposition was this. This place is not for spirits, it's for men. You have no right to be standing there. So in the name of Jesus, be gone. The spirit didn't expect that power. The power that struck that spirit. He didn't expect it. This prayer I prayed was six o'clock. Six o'clock. By was it seven or eight? I gathered the whole team, all the swimming people, then Philip B. I gathered everybody and said, Let's walk. We now prayed till ten o'clock. There about. I'm not very sure of the time, but it's something like that. So there was a release. We went to the room. I can at least I can tell you about our own room. Me and my wife. And she went to sleep. And I know that it's not time to sleep. <laughs> and then demons with two heads came to our room. One came by one, two heads. I still told that demon that this place is not for spirits. This place is for men. We are the ones that have control here. And I did not come in my name. I came in the name of Jesus. The team went outside the room. I was walking on the pavement. Walking on the pavement till 3 o'clock. Meanwhile, on the bed, my wife will be doing as if she's having a bad dream. I will touch her, I will touch her. From one to three, she was doing as if she had a, was having a bad dream. But I know what was happening. In the morning, all the team members that came to that place, I gathered us together. Everybody. So, what did you see after the prayer? Because you need to get feedback. Because when battles take place, God gives visibility. He gives us the opportunity to see what is happening. It's part of his responsibility because he's the one that teaches your hands to fight and your fingers to war. So he will give you a clue as to what was going on. And the thing about spiritual warfare, don't be used to fighting it alone. Not because you don't have the anointing or the authority, but most times the feedback may not come to you. The feedback, I mean divine feedback, 
if if you are like 12 people maybe four people will receive feedback but without fail there must be feedback god must show what is happening so you gather your intelligence from the feedback oh you are not with me <laughs> spiritual warfare is not a sprint it's a marathon it is not a one one touch and go thing because if you do one touch and go he will meet you in the night so you resist steadfast in the faith it is a marathon something you continue doing until satan decides that all right it is obvious that it is futile trying to contend with you i will come back again in another season so when he leaves you that is when you now enter into breakthrough you enter into another level you establish yourself on another height because when he's coming back he's not coming back with the old weapons he's coming back with new weapons so weapon, he goes into the laboratory to forge weapons and that's why the bible says no weapon that is forged because it is forged it is forged with you in mind not forged with with philip in mind forged with you in mind so he needs some intelligence from you he needs to understand the way you operate he needs to know how you relate with your husband he needs to know what your salary is in then he forges a weapon with all of those parameters in mind it takes him time to forge it so while you are consolidating in his absence do so huh? seeking higher levels of authority in the spirit because when you relax because the breakthrough has come you now buy a Benz that type that the hair is like this and then you ride it to the filling station and horn oh so that it, uh, uh, someone that buys this car you have to see it at least you will not be ready when this this strange personality comes with a new weapon it has the the the, the specifications of your neck is built into that weapon unfortunately for us the life of a christian is a life of war i know you want it to be a life of breakthrough that word is not in the bible so you resist steadfast and you keep resisting till satan turns back if you get a major breakthrough like that and satan turns back once he does he has not only turned back from you he turned back from your generation he turned back from your son from your daughter he turned back he turned back the kind of expression that your children will have because of that one victory that you secure is unthinkable and if you fail in that battle that same ground will be a slippery ground for your sons and daughters in the days to come so the next time you say saviors will come out of zion let me educate you about the responsibility of being a savior it means you will never turn back in battle and that's why there is no armor built for the back of a christian you have breastplate of righteousness you have what shield of faith sword of the spirit word of truth helmet of salvation nothing is built for the back because the name of this warfare is no retreat no surrender Please help me tell your neighbor and tell your neighbor with faith, Satan will not see my back. <laughs> Let me tell you, show you the words that you hold in your mouth when you are worrying. Let me give you a sample. This is not, this is just an example, right? You can devise your own words consistent with the shape of the battle. Exactly. But God was teaching um, Ezekiel, spiritual warfare. Ezekiel chapter 29 verse 2 Son of man set thy face against Pharaoh king of Egypt and prophesy against him and all Egypt speak and say this is God teaching giving the man words thus said the Lord I am against thee Pharaoh king of Egypt the great dragon that lieth in the midst of the rivers which had said my river is my own when these demons come they claim ownership there's a language of ownership that is retained in their words that's what that dragon said he said this river is my own he said this river i made it for myself that means it's for me alone there's 
these spiritual entities are territorial they are possessive and they claim ownership have you seen spirits before that are attached to your family and they believe they own it they own your family that's their nature these utterance that God was putting in the mouth of Ezekiel Ezekiel was supposed to hold those, that utterance and that is what he's speaking consistently before you fight ask God to give you the utterance the nature of these spirits is that they are possessive they claim ownership they claim rights and they believe that dominion is their portion It will take one kingdom man to change all of that if you are willing to persevere that's why some of us are sold out it is war till the end that's how christians are supposed to be warriors not guys not guys but warriors till the end when god puts words in your mouth to utter you are not thinking of what to say for Ezekiel, these utterances will not be edited. If he wakes up on, on, on Monday night, he sets his face and he begins with the utterance. You don't need to change utterances too much when you are fighting, especially if you know what you are fighting for. The ability is not intelligence in changing utterance. The ability is in the ability to, to resist steadfast. Part of the prayer we are going to pray is this. You will ask God to give you the grace to stay. Many weaklings begin this project and then run away. It means you are not fit for the kingdom. You put your hand to the plow and you look back. Meanwhile, you're already in the battle. You can't even decide to, if you quit, even if you run, it means the intensity of the pressure will be multiplied. I know you want a break. You want to just stretch and just... <coughs> Can you resist steadfast? To begin to lose his, his grip on the earth. Because we refuse to back out. We will have no choice but to reschedule this meeting. I said, I will come back again. I will be back. It means I can't succeed now. But I will come back. I was in 300 level in the university and I went home. And because of how I love church, I just dropped my bags at home. I took my Bible and went to church. Our, one of our elders now saw me and said, Hey, go. We, we are welcome. Never been welcome like that. What is the problem? Then the next day, the elder sent for me, came to the house. I saw her granddaughter in chains. They told me the story. That she got initiated in a witchcraft court, an ancient witchcraft court. In fact, the totem of that court, they got it from Benin, Benin, Benin City. That's where they got that totem. From the original Benin altar of witchcraft. That's where they got that. The woman that held it was about 80 something years old. And she was one of the people that they initiated recently. And she fell in love with her. I called her and said, I'm going to transfer my powers to you because the time for my departure has come. But it's not something, it's not a burden that you can bear casually. So what I will do is I will release a few demons. If you can manage them, then I will release the other ones. Those ones will be giving you wisdom, they'll be speaking into your ears, teaching you what to do. So when they release a few demons on the lady, hmm, she trekked across four local governments. Uh, yes, that's what I'm saying. So you, <laughs> she trekked without getting weary eh, across four local governments. It was true. Thank God GSM had come. So it was a phone call she received. We saw your daughter in this local government. What? She, how did she get there like this? So you now know why the elder was happy. Because they took that lady for deliverance everywhere they knew how to go. Our case grew worse. When a 300 level student comes from the university, she's now celebrating. Her granddaughter can live. 
And you know those days, anywhere we saw demons, we went. Right? We won't check whether we have the clearance level to deal. With, and the mess of the Lord was so active. I told the woman, I don't need physical deliverance. I'll pray from 8 to 10. And your daughter will be free. In my house. I'll pray in my house. I've seen those ones before. Speak the word only and thy servant shall be healed. What you believe is what God has made you experience. Called my friend. I will begin to pray. 6 o'clock. 8 o'clock. 9 o'clock. 9.30. A beast now appears before me. With the face of a cat. High. Beyond. Far beyond the ceiling. Okay. I've seen demons before. I see them. They look like. Uh, some of them look like monkeys. Some like dogs. Some like snakes. The ones that tie your neck. That you, you can't say. Those are the ones like snakes. They're like a thread. So they tie your neck. Then say. Ch and say Jesus. I know those type. But I've never seen a demon that looked like a beast. And he looked at me with so much wickedness. And I spoke in tongues, all the tongues I knew how to speak. For 35 minutes. It, my tongues didn't affect it. I was just looking at me. Like and he told me, I will be back. So I now told the demon, why not now? Why do you need to go and prepare? See me now. Do you know that when he spoke to me, his mouth didn't move. He spoke through his thoughts. And I got what he was saying. He said, I will be back. He came back nine years later. By the time he came back, it was not that shape again. No. Oh. He camped with me for nine months. That's when I knew. Those are when I took my lessons in spiritual warfare. You will hear that a man of God just died. It's not heart attack. I took my lessons in spiritual warfare for nine months. That's when I discovered that it's not a change of plan. Just keep resisting. And I, if you resist for like five hours, it will leave. Tomorrow evening it will come back. For nine months. I was in Lagos then. The people I was staying with, people like Felix, they didn't know. Because I don't share my stories of battles when I'm fighting until I finish. Nine months. And I noticed that if I travel out of Lagos, it will not be able to come until I come back. So I was looking for invitations to go out and rest and sleep. Then I come back prepared for battle. Until I went to Enugu to preach, and then the, the demon followed me to Enugu. That was the first time it crossed Lagos. So God now gave me a lecture, a lecture that I don't have time to deliver to us. You know what the Lord told me? He said, When I prepare a messenger to deploy him in the earth, I give him weapons. You do what? Weapons. Never knew they were weapons. And he showed me one. It was that one I used on that beast. It took the beast 35 minutes to fall. It was falling, you know, but it took 35 minutes. When he hit the ground, then it disappeared. 35 minutes. It was after that that I had the authority to challenge a native doctor. When I saw that in fall, I knew that native doctors were not strong. Can you resist until Satan excuses himself? You are going to pray a prayer that God should give you the capacity to persist. That is the difference between a general and a noisemaker. A noisemaker cannot survive the level of pressure that spiritual warfare brings. But a general understands that endurance means to outlast the devil. Endurance. It means to outlast the devil. 
I know someone in, in, in this place is already fed up with the wars you are fighting. And you are saying, why me? Wake up. Smell the coffee. If you, if you back out, all your children will be slaves. Yes. They will be slaves. Destiny will be slippery for them because of your failures. Generals can stand. <laughs> That's why I say, haven't done all. Stand. 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 And I have witness from the Lord that in a short while, the canopy that is held over Nigeria will just, it will fall suddenly. The power of the Assyrian will be broken. Hey, suddenly. We've been a people that have been held by the power of witchcraft. But if the sons and daughters of Zion understand that in warfare there is no retreat, there is no surrender, then you will hear the victor's song. Can you ask him for grace? Never to quit. Never to cast in the tower. We fight for ourselves and for our children. We fight for the continent of Africa. We fight for our household. We fight for children yet unborn. We fight because we know we have the calling to be saviors that will be deployed from Zion. Receive strength right now. Receive strength. Receive strength. Ask him to strengthen you with might by his spirit in the inner man. If you throw in the tower, if you look back, the Holy Ghost says, My spirit will take no pleasure in you. I receive strength to stand. Only those that cannot last the, te the devil will sing the victor song. Concerning my family, I will sing the victor song. Concerning Nigeria, I will sing the victor song. Concerning Africa, I will sing the victor song. I will see the end of the days of the beast. I will see the end of the power of the serpent. I will see the end of darkness. Jesus Christ on the cross I will have the privilege to say it is finished I will say it is finished and the
Jesko fe la mira kaskeli. The victory of the Lord shall be seen because you persevere. Satan is not in control. Satan is not in control. Demons are not in control. God is in control. I will see the victor song. I will see the victor song. My Sekubirami, Brisco Felama Santori. Strengthen yourself. You cannot give up now. You've been on this path for too long. You are closer to the finish line than when you began. Your children will call you blessed. Your sons will call you blessed. Blessed be the day that you were born, that a warrior was born into our family. Such a man that will not give up. Such a woman that will not give up. Generations on board will call you blessed. Because in your day, salvation was wrought. The kingdom of our God, the power of his Christ. Santoria. Amaseli Bokoria Plasketomina Kat. Your children will call you blessed. Blessed be the day that you were born. Blessed be the day that you are all in the Lord. warrior for the days of rejoicing I'm here I will sing the victor song I'm a social kayama Raska bote, rico patuna na ide, escompe na baratos, bakaseli, bakakoli amaseli. It's for men. This world is not for spirit. It's for men. It's for men. It's for men. Men rule here, not demons. Men rule here, not leviathan. Men rule here, not Satan. Let's go, Milano. Matayeto, come on. 